Hi everyone, my name is Karina Chani and I am a makeup artist and skincare consultant and I'm here today with Wonder Beauty and I'm going to show you guys my New Year's Eve glam look. Stay tuned. I'm um, starting off with the Rose Gold Baggage Claim Eye Mask. I absolutely love this guy. Not only is it fun, but it actually has aloe leaf juice and it has hyaluronic acid, my, one of my favorite ingredients. So what that basically does is reduces the appearance of fine lines and dry skin. And you look pretty while you're doing it. I'm gonna keep this look really super easy and I'm gonna start off with the Wonder Beauty Off Duty Palette. I'm gonna be starting off and using the whole desert island on my full lid. What I'm doing right now is just tapping the color I love to tap because that actually deposits the color. When you slide around, what you're doing is taking the product from one corner to the other and you're not really placing it. This way you also get really good intensity from the actual color that you're dipping into. You want to make sure that the color always rides up and angles up. You never want to take the color down where it starts to make your eyes look droopy. It's such a super simple, easy eye, but it's super glamorous at the same time. And I'm gonna go in with and use the Sun Kiss, which is a very soft bronze brown. What I'm doing is extending my color all the way above my crease so that you can actually see the color. It looks pretty loud right now, but I'm still not done blending. I'm now gonna go in and use a blender brush and go in with the highlighter Starfish. Not only does this act like a highlighter above the brow bone, but it also helps to blend out that deep color I just used on my lid. I'm gonna go back in with the Desert Island and use a Q-tip brush and just deepen up the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the Desert Island again and deepen up the outer corner now. It's amazing what you can do with just one or two eyeshadows. I'm now going in with the Wonder Beauty Black Sand Eyeliner, and what I'm gonna do is completely line my top lid, my waterline. I'm gonna etch the black liner into my lash line on the bottom, and then I'm gonna smudge it out. I really want a deep, cold lining to go with my smoky brown eyes. So I'm going in with my black liner, straight into my waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and do my top lid. I'm staying really close to the lash line because I want the intensity closer to my eyelashes. I don't want a very thick black line. You always wanna make sure you stop an eighth of an inch before the end of your eye to create a little bit of a lift. The great thing about this look is that you don't have to have the eyeliner perfect because I'm gonna go in and smudge it out so that it's not a blunt defined black line. It's gonna be a smudged black line. And I'm gonna pull my liner on the bottom a little out. I want an elongated look. And you wanna almost flick the pencil. You don't wanna to apply too much pressure. You really wanna release the pressure at this point and flick. I'm now gonna go in and use the Desert Island, that same color that I used on the top lid. Take very little onto a blender brush. Tap off the extra and I'm gonna go in and smudge and soften out the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my baggage claim. It's been on for a good 15-20 minutes, which is exactly how much time you need to get this thing to really absorb and do its job. This is my daily routine. I put a lot of time into my skincare and because the rose gold baggage has hyaluronic acid in it, you really want to make sure that it gets into your pores because that is what's gonna get you uh, looking smooth and flawless. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Unlashed Mascara and show you how I do my lashes. I'm gonna be coating the top layer of my lash and then the very last move that I do is up and out, which is the bottom of the lash. That still is considered one coat of mascara. As, uh, as I do that, I'm twisting the mascara wand, get maximum product on the top layer. You wanna get the inside too. Now comes the top layer. This is how you get to see length and volume together. It's 
really important that you give a minute or two between each coat. You have to give it a chance to settle and dry so that you can see that next layer which gives you double volume and double length. I'm going back in for my second coat. And because this is New Year's Eve, I'm going in for the third round. I'm gonna go in and do the same thing with the other side. What I love about this mascara is that it doesn't have clumping, so you see each hair. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Nude Illusion foundation in tan. I like my foundations just a pinch warmer than my natural skin tone, just to give me a natural glow. I'm now gonna go in and use the Kabuki side of the foundation brush. One of the other things I love about this foundation, it has a very hydrating quality, so if you're somebody who's dry skin, this is a great two-in-one. You'll see me flipping over to the other side and making sure that I get into the small nooks and crannies. That is really, really important. That's the foundation to the foundation, is making sure all your corners and all your covers are based. You wanna go into the corners, uh, the back of the ear, the jawline, cover the lips. This also acts as a base to your lipstick as well. I'm now gonna go in and use my liquid concealer in shade medium. The darkest part of your dark circles are usually the inner corner, so I'm gonna go in right into this inner corner and fade out to the outer corner. I don't like a lot of concealer product on the outside, so you'll notice I'm gonna concentrate right on the inside. That's my darkest point, and make sure it's really well blended. I like to do a little bit in my laugh lines, and just a little bit on my chin to get a little bit of definition, and my forehead. You'll notice I'm being really careful with the direction of my concealer. I wanna make sure that it's going in an upward motion. So it cr what this does is cr the concealer creates brightness, but it also creates a visual of your eyes being pulled up. I'm gonna go in and use the stick side of the concealer for a little added coverage. And I'm only using the stick right on the inner corner only, not only to cover a little bit more of the dark circles, but also give a little bit more brightness. I'm now going in with my Play All Day Translucent Powder and I'm gonna set my whole look. It's a translucent powder, so you're not gonna get too much buildup, but it is going to take away some of that shine that you might have in your T-zone. This also gives your makeup longevity, especially if you're out for a good six to eight, 10 hours. I've actually already microbladed my eyebrows. I do it once a year, but I am seeing a little bit of gap, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Frame Your Face Brow Pencil and just fill in a few of the gaps and make it a little bit more perfect. I'm using the dark brown shade. Ever, ever so slightly. It has great pigment, so you just need very little. I'm a huge fan of bold brows, so I might just go a little bit more. I'm now going in with my On The Glow bronzer. I'm probably gonna go very easy on blush. What I'm gonna do is use the bronzer as my blush since my eyes are pretty sultry and my lips are gonna be pretty deep. So I wanna bring a little bit of balance and keep the cheeks a little bit more soft. I'm using the Capri as my contour. This can be bronzer, this can be contour. You can use this as a blush, it's multi-purpose. Great thing about this contour, it is matte. It's cream and does not have shimmer, so you won't have any reflection back on your face. You have to make sure that the contour is under the jawline and not on the jawline, otherwise that will shorten your face. I don't like my contour in your face brown and white streaks. I'm gonna blend this out and make it look really soft, but you're gonna see angle. I'm gonna go in and do just a little bit in my forehead. Again, this goes back to bringing attention back to the center of my face. I really want the color to stay in its place. It's been strategically placed, so you don't want this brush moving around. You really wanna make sure it's staying right where I placed the bronzer. I'm taking a little bit of that excess product of the bronzer and adding it a little bit into my cheeks. I don't want a loud blush color. I want more of a bronzy tone. It's gonna finish blending in the bronzer in my hairline. I'm now gonna go in with the Candle Glow Illuminator and I'm gonna apply it directly and streak it across my cheekbone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my fingers. 
I personally am not a fan of matte finish. So what I love about this, it just makes my skin look hydrated all day long. I'm now gonna go in with the lip setter in Bold and Beijing. And then what I'm gonna do first is line my lips and then fill it in with the lipstick. So the reason why I out my, outline my lips and fill in my lips with the lip liner and then go in with the lipstick is because I can eat throughout the night, I have my drinks and nothing moves. This is the great part about lip liner. You can also use the lip liner as just an outline to keep the lipstick in and um, help from feathering, but I love the effect of full lip liner first and then lipstick. I'm now going in with the lipstick side and filling in on top of the liner. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys love this look as much as I do. Please follow me at Karuna Chani and Happy New Year.